Uh, but Dr. Lori is with us now. I will tell you this, even being away from the show last week on vacation, I would get all the notifications that people were <laughs> submitting things to Dr. Lori. I tell you what, my friend, our dumpster or no dumpster, and you in particular, so popular on our Facebook page. So thank you. Well, thank you so much. And I appreciate the viewers sending in the pictures. I want to make a couple little reminders. Don't forget to give me dimensions if you can. How big is your object or a picture of a mark if you have a mark on your object. And also make sure that the size of your photos is big enough, right? Don't give me these tiny little itsy bitsy, you know, um, resized photos because then we can't use them on air. So uh, think about that. Do your best. And I'll be looking for them on the Facebook page at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. That's a good reminder I because you want to make sure that you're getting her eyes can see that whole item Absolutely. that you're sending to her. So make sure you do that. All right. So speaking of the items that people send in, what do you have for us today? We have some great items today as usual. This is a rose pin. So this pin is actually gold tone metal. What does that mean? It's not gold plated. It basically is a metal that looks like gold. So it's probably made of brass. It's from the late 1900s. That means it's from about 1985 to about the year 2000. And it is a pin that is in the shape of a rose. So we would call it a figural pin because it looks like a figure of something real. Um, this particular piece is about two and a half inches tall and it would be worn on the lapel, usually of a jacket or a blazer. Okay, Allison, where are you, what are you thinking? When I see things like a pin or a brooch or anything like yeah. that, it always reminds me of my grandmother. Absolutely. So it feels so nostalgic. So I would have yeah. to say like no dumpster. Absolutely. I'd keep it no matter what probably. And, and <laughs> truly, like I would say the same. In fact, though, we have one of those roses, not a pin, but you remember when that was like all the thing in the time frame that actually this came yeah. from? So we have one of those like, like full size roses though. Yeah. So for that reason and the reason you brought up, yeah. I'm going to say no dumpster, a hopeful no dumpster. It's just at $50, costume jewelry, but it is a no dumpster just at 50. So it, it just nice. made our cutoff. Yes, good. Good, 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 good going. Memory memory feeling it to it, does. doesn't it? It totally does. <laughs> okay. The next one is a plate and it's marked Triumph Limoges. So everybody knows that pieces from Limoges, France are very desirable, but this is called Triumph Limoges, which means it's an American made piece of pottery, but they're using the Limoges name. It's from the 1960s. It's a Rococo revival scene of lovers um, being serenaded here in a, um, in a garden landscape. It's called transfer wear. That means that the image is actually transferred onto the piece of ceramic from a piece of paper. Standalone plate, also known as a cabinet plate. The idea is that it's for decoration up in a cabinet or you put it on the table, but you don't put food on it. You don't eat off of it. Oh, okay. Just so decorative. Almost. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm going to go with no dumpster. You're going to say no dumpster. Yeah. I, I know that it's like made it's, to look like something. It's transferred. I, I feel like some of those things that you were hinting at, yeah, I may true. say dumpster on this. We'll split this one. It's definitely a dumpster at $15. Oh, really? wow. Mm -hmm. So and it was because it was kind of like a, a wannabe in a way, right? Yeah, it was kind of that, that idea that it was trying to look like something else and it wasn't made by a manufacturer of high quality. Oh, we got her a little. There we there. go. I try. <laughs> I'll tell you, we've been doing this for you years, have. Allison. I'm catching on. I'm Dr. Catching on. Lori, like, <laughs> she'll, kind, she'll try to lead you, or at least I try to see where she's leading me a little bit, uh, which I appreciate. Um, what do we have for the third one, though, today? Our third piece today for Dumpster or No Dumpster is this textile umbrella. This is not a parasol. It's actually an umbrella. Uh, now, parasols usually have much more delicate fabric. This is, of course, a lucite handle. If you can look at the handle, it is clear. It's a little hard to tell because it's on that beige carpet, but it's a lucite handle, 19, 1960s, early 1970s umbrella with, of course, a fabric, uh, um, a treated fabric textile. And this was the time when you would have one print on the inside and a different print on the outside. Well, she kept saying, like, not a parasol, not a parasol. Uh -huh. So that makes me think it's a dumpster. Uh huh. Just because uh -huh. it's not a parasol. I'll tell you, we have two <laughs> parasols from uh, grandparents, and my daughter won't leave them be. Uh -huh. um, so I, I will tell you that I'm like, I want to hide those in our house at this point. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know anything about umbrellas. Yeah, this is new. So I'm probably going to say dumpster, even though it's from that mod era that I know we like to talk about. I'm going to say dumpster too. 
The Lucite is key. It's a no dumpster at $60 because Why? people look for Lucite um, accessories and attributes like that. Okay. Interesting. Yep. Are umbrellas collect? I mean, are there people who collect yes. umbrellas? People collect walking sticks and umbrellas and oftentimes parasols like Alex. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, apparently who Alex, you know, just wants to destroy the house with them. But that's beside the point. I'm sure people who collect it are a little more I mean, careful. They must be good umbrellas if they can hold up that you can collect them. How are you not damaging you them when you're playing them? Well, this Sorry, is that's where true. my mind goes. So this interesting. Is, this is true. They're very, they're usually better quality. The older ones are usually better quality. A lot of things are, were made better in the old days, right? Yes. I sound like old lady. <laughs> we hear that all the time. Well, Dr. Lori, again, you said at the beginning of the segment, make sure those pictures are large enough. Put them on our Facebook page, TV Morning Blend. All good information. We love playing with our viewers each and every week. And Dr. Lori, we're so thankful you join us each and every week. I'm very happy to join you, and I want to just give a shout out to one of my good friends, Bobby Bones, the radio and TV personality, is coming to Tampa Bay to the Tampa Theater for two shows in August. I hope you'll look into uh, being part of his audience. He's a great celebrity and, of course, uh, a, great, uh, in, a, a great comedic show that you'll enjoy at the Tampa Theater, and I hope you'll check it out. Yeah. We need to get him in here. I we know. need to do some research on that. Hey, by the way, Dr. Lori, quick tease. I see you have your Carl mug. Uh, if people want to know more about that, go to Dr. Lori's Facebook page. That's how you can learn what that means. Nice placement there of that, <laughs> Dr. Lori. Love being able to see it. And uh, great to see you today. Take care. Check it okay? out. It's a great story. Thanks. It is. It is. I appreciated you sharing that with us. Thanks so much.